Alright, first and foremost, we want to say Kalalal, Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Muka Kodash, the bonus to the elders and apostles of Goodness Stone, and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in all sincerity and in truth. And the brother Yahayar from the James Kings and Jamaica camp, here once again with a quick lesson. And pretty much this is going into like different countries have different laws, different nations have different rules and customs. You understand and that is like a clear straight to the point concept that everybody should understand but it seems as if people don't because whenever you talk to somebody about the bible right for example you're trying to tell them that the bible is a book about a particular set of people right and they are acting as if back in the days at like the biblical days when the bible when 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 the Israelites were established, they're acting as if the laws of the Israelites were the laws of every other nation upon the face of the earth. And it was not so. You understand? It was specific. You understand? That is like a misconception that is so difficult for the world to grasp. You understand? And once you understand that simple concept, you'll realize why the children of Israel, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, were the people that were punished specifically, right? Were the people specifically punished by the Heavenly Father? Not the whole entire hurt, man. You understand? When you read the book of the book of um the book of Amos, right? Amos chapter three. You see me? I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, Hear this word the Lord had spoken against you, O children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known, right, of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities, right? Because in the time, in those times, right, the law, statutes, and, and judgment that was brought forth by Moses was given unto the children of Israel. The scriptures blatantly speak about that. You understand? Now, I have a video queued up about this young lady who went to Dubai, right? To the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, right? And she was charged, right? Based off the laws and customs that is practiced in that land. And it's as if people in Western society cannot grasp the concept that different countries have different rules, tradition, and customs that if you go there, you have to abide by. You understand? Let's look at this video. Let's play this video real quick. On Fox, the last two months are described as terrifying for a Houston woman who we're told is being detained in Dubai. Fox 26's Domly Keith joining us live near downtown Houston with why she's being held, Domly. Well, the crime she's charged with may surprise you, and Dubai is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she was charged with screaming. In Why is it surprising, right? It's surprising because their laws, their rules, are different from the laws and rules of the nation that you come from. That is why when you read the scriptures, there are certain laws and commandments in the scriptures that is not familiar with Western society. And that is why Western society predominantly sticks with the New Testament because you have the notion that the, the last and the commandments of the Heavenly Father are done away with. And that is not the case. You understand? Let's continue. Like, it, al it also could result in prison time. So it's very scary. The trip turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Um, she dealt with a very ag aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. Baxter says her 29-year-old daughter and this is the thing, man, people from, people from Western society, they have been so westernized, so um, entitled to believe that the laws of America or the laws of England or wherever Western nation that they come from supersedes the laws of 
the countries that they are going to. You understand? And this is just a, 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 a example to show you how dumb and stupid people of Western society has become. Right? That they actually believe that they can go to another country, right? And undermine the rules and regulation of the country that they're going to. You hear this lady talking? She's talking as if her daughter can be justified in her actions in a country that has rules and regulations against the actions that she has committed. You see the level of entitlement? Why you never teach a daughter to basically be a woman of a particular moral and standing? Why you never do that? No, she gone to a country that don't play those games, that don't play the, the hood rat, ratchet, outlandish, degenerate behavior, right? They, they're not in the acceptance of those type of behavior, right? And now you're, you're, you're in a state of depression, right? You're in a state of disbelief when these people, right? <laughs> when these people implement their laws, man, because they don't want those type of behavior over there. You know? So when you go over there, you better, you better put your P's and your Q's, yo. You see me? Ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent, she says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. Exactly, and this is, this is just something where you realize these nations don't accept certain type of behavior. And the scripture tells you in the book of Proverbs, right? It is in the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 13, says, A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. A foolish woman, yo. This is a foolish woman, right? You never do no research whatsoever, right? You never, you never check out the rules and regulation of the country that you're going to. You believe that you can carry a hood rat type of attitude, go over there to the people in the country, right? And completely disregard their standards, right? The word clamorous means loud, man. You see, man? These people don't, don't accept the certain type of behavior. And rightly so, because these type of behavior are rejected by the, by, by the scriptures. They are rejected by the standards of the Heavenly Father. So it's okay for them to implement these type of rules, man, and not be in acceptance of it. When you go to the book of Proverbs chapter 21, verse, verse 9, it says, It is better to dwell in a corner of a house top than with a brawling woman in a white house. Right? And this woman, as you basically say, she's a brawling woman. Zin, go dear, I speak. Can you imagine surely how she had talk with her head or wag and I disrespect the people them, and so forth, you know? right? The scriptures in the book of Proverbs 7 and 11 says, She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. You should have turned your yard. <laughs> you see me? You should have turned where you're there. Zin, no, but no, you want to play the passport whore lifestyle because we all know what these these um females go to these countries to do man. You understand? The evidence is out there, it's being talked about, right? They go out there to play the harlot, man. That's what they do. Man. You see me? It's, there's no secret. They, they cut it out out of the back then. You understand? And you can see that this lady is careless. You see me? The scripture in the book of Isaiah 32, verse 9, it says what? Rise up a women that are at ease. She was at ease. She never knew. This could have happened to her at first time. See me? She, she never knew, say, her behavior, this type of behavior is unacceptable because she wasn't taught the proper way. You understand? So it, it, it's like, it's strange. No, when she reach a place where that type of behavior is frowned upon, right? So the scripture says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. She has been a careless daughter. Because she have a careless mother who never teach her the right way. You see me? There's a thing amongst our people, Jake, predominantly. They have no conflict resolution skills. You understand? The first thing they go to us is to raise their voice and act in a very absurd and irrational manner. That is what these females have been taught. And it's coming to the point right now where it is being, it is being put down. Man. You understand? We see it within the manosphere over here in the Western society, right? Where men are starting to, to, to highlight the lack of standards amongst women. You understand? So when you go over there and you see men just say, yo, look here, this, this is punishable by law. You see? It comes as if, oh, wow. 
this is strange. No, that is where you're supposed to be, man. You're not supposed to be acting now way that is inappropriate and degenerate. Man. You understand? So the scripture say, hear my voice, ye careless daughters. So hear the voice of the Heavenly Father. Say, so give ear unto my speech. Many days and here shall ye be troubled. And that time is coming. Man. You see me? That time is coming where all of these freedom that you have ascribed to, it is going to cease. Many days and here shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. So this is just a precursor to show that your liberty to gather abroad, is it me to act outlandish, to act out of pocket, is coming to a near end. Man. You understand? It says the gatherings, the gatherings shall not come. You understand? So this is just a precursor. This is just a small taste of what is to come. Man. For majority of you women out there in, in, in out there would think that your, your shit don't stink, right? So she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. She raised... And look on the simp. The simp coming to defend her attitude. She's there for one reason and one reason alone. Because she raised her voice. Man, this is, this is not acceptable. For a woman to be acting out of pocket like that. This is unacceptable. It's uncomely. You understand? Voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. It's been very emotional. There are some days I stay up all night crying. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. This website. They have a strict law system that is pretty much based on theocracy. Now, what is theocracy? You understand? You have to look up, learn to look up words. Right? Theocracy. They are, see if that's how it's spelled. So theocracy, a system of government in which priests rule in the name of God are a God. You understand? Now, based off of that definition, you can clearly see why the standard of the scriptures, right, is not accepted. You understand? That's why when you go to the book of um, Habakkuk, Chapter 4, chapter 1, verse 4, it says, Therefore the law is slack, and judgment will never go forth, for the wicked come pass about the righteous. Therefore wrong judgment proceeded. You understand? So wicked come pass about the righteous. Who is the wicked? The wicked is the so-called white man. Right? The scripture says, You are of the father, the devil, and the lust of your father, evil do. Right? And that's why you have GX right now, right? Following the philosophy of the so-called white man completely disregarding the standards of the Heavenly Father, right? And they are basically putting down the judgments, the traditions, the customs that the, that the scriptures will promote. You understand? The scriptures say they loathe the laws of the Heavenly Father. They that loathe the Heavenly Father laws, right? That is what it has come to. And that is why you have, you have right now, they are defending behaviors that are not right that are not righteous that are not of a noble standing you understand and have integrity Zeme. so you can clearly see that currently western society is basically trash right because they are upholding everything that is that is unjust they are uploading everything that is outlandish right and of no moral standard whatsoever right site warns quote laws and customs are very different so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in united arab emirates now after the people even put out that disclaimer well Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. It's very frightening. Um, the longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. And who, who gave you that? Who gave you that? Like... I look look on it now. Is it me? Look look on the hypocrisy of it. You have your house, right? You have rules, you have standards, you have regulations that you order your house by. When somebody comes into your house and try to undermine those rules, standards and regulations that you 
have implemented in your house, right? You would not want them to be a part of your house. You see me? Or you wouldn't want them to be in your house, man. They, they have to come in. You see, they have to take off them shoes if you tell them to take off them shoes. You see me? They have to do certain things, right? According to your standard that which you have established. And you feel it's right to go to another man's country and do something that's against the standard rules and regulation of that country. You're sick in your head, yo. You see me? Clearly, you have some kind of concussion, right? If you don't want to abide by the people and rules, don't go there. Simple. You understand? That is it. You see me? The laws of the land we are dwelling on, that are the laws we are supposed to follow, right? Not follow it in terms of compromising the integrity that you have in your hobo or shame or shy, but follow it in terms of making sure that you're on the right track and not getting yourself in trouble. You see me? That is wisdom. You understand? When you read the book of Romans chapter 13, it pretty much tells you. Let me just read it and go a little bit into it, not too much. Right? It says Romans. Sorry. Romans. Romans 13. It says, let every soul be job subject unto the higher powers. She never learned this. You know? Subject unto the higher powers. The higher power of the country that you're in, man. Now, the context in which this, this scripture was written is was Paul writing to the, to the people um, that is in Rome. Because at the time, there was an uprising um, against the Roman Empire. Right? So now what Paul was pretty much saying in short was that don't rise up a day against them in terms of going towards them in battle. Right? Because the position that they were in at the time was ordained by the Heavenly Father. So therefore, just relax, preach the word, you see me, and wait upon the Heavenly Father until he rise up to the prayer. You see me? So it says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. So the Romans were ordained to rule at that time. You see me? It was ordained for them to rule at that time. So therefore, what Israel was supposed to do was to call upon the Heavenly Father for, for defense. You understand? Not to be in a state where if the Romans have decreed something that's against the standards of the scriptures, you're supposed to follow it. But simple things, such as pay your tax, and the scripture goes down in, into it, and it pretty much says that. Is it me? Um, Yahweh Shai um, made reference to that. Is it me? What is Caesar is due unto Caesar. So whatever is Caesar, is, you, you give him him due, man. You understand? So likewise, when you're going to the people in the country, you see, the things them where they establish as rules and regulation that is easy to follow and not against the standards of the scriptures, follow them. Simple. Is it me? Don't come, don't come try to undermine the people and thing. That is, that is pretty much wisdom. Man. But you can realize that Western society don't want to be in any form, have any form of standard or responsibility whatsoever. You understand? They want to live under the Alistair Crowley doctrine, the do as thou will doctrine. You understand? And countries like the United Emirates, Emirates, Emirates as shows, shows that Western society is pretty much of no moral standard or integrity. You understand? And this is just a, a, a small example. So with that, I hope that this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I want to say, Kalalal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Ka'a Kodash, Double honest to the elders and apostles of Grimmel Stone, and salutations to all the brothers. Pushing this work in our sincerity and in church. Shalom. Boom.